a bit nervous at first, I didn't know what to expect. But uh, like I say, a few days in, it was a lot, a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. I was just like overwhelmed by how big the place was and like how much was going on, yeah. First four weeks is a bit jam packed, but after that, you get a lot of downtime. Yeah, living in a dorm like this, it's, you think it's worse than it is, but like you get really close with the lads. Even when we have like our down days, everyone just picks each other up and have such a laugh. Like it's, uh, there's never a dull moment anyway. As a minor rifle, it was quite daunting at first, because I mean, you see it on TV and that, but <laughs> you don't ever expect to actually have it in your hands. So when I did, it was just like, it's quite an empowering feeling. Because like I say, we've been hands on doing our drills with it anyway. And then we get obviously the, the DCC2, the indoor range that we went on, the, the computerized one. I thought it was all right. A lot of people were quite nervous at first. The training is quite arduous because they make you do repetition after repetition after repetition to make sure and ensure that you are at the standard to manipulate and utilise that weapon to its maximum capacity. The hardest thing we've done has probably been our tactical exercise three. Just, it was just basically just digging a trench for like three days, solid with no sleep, and then all the way through the night, but it was like the cold and the wet and the, but everyone else just picks each other up. It was, it was horrible, but it was like, it was really fun at the same time. And Charles has helped me through the course in the numerous ways, uh, either the personal issues I've had. Anything, uh, if you're struggling with anything, then just, just go to speak to them and they'll try to help you. We can have a right laugh some days. Like you said, they are, they are firm, but they are fair. Um, like I said, if, if, if you do as you're told, when you're told, there'll be no problems. So my most proud moment was probably getting my headdress on week 10. You feel like as if you're becoming part, part of your regiment. It signified a milestone in my journey, what I've done so far. If you want to start this run at Castorick particularly, it's one of the most stringent establishments in the world. So you need to be at your A game when you start it because the training here is it really is world class. So you need to be prepared as much as you can. Do it. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth starting your training in Castro. Definitely do it. Uh, I'd say more prepare yourself mentally and like physically. Ditch the weights. Hit, hit the pavement. Read a lot about mental resilience and toughness because that is the number one thing, yeah? And have an end goal in mind. Like, I have milestones about what you want to achieve and what we can, why you're doing it. Keep reminding yourself why you're doing this because there's going to be times where you're going to feel really done. And that reason of why you're doing it is going to amplify your energy even more.